Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about how you can uh, shrink a file in SQL Server. So again the same information uh, shrinking uh, data files. In this video particularly we are not uh, shrinking a database but database files. So shrinking data files recover space by moving the pages of data from the end of the file to the unoccupied space in the front of the file. When enough space is created at the end of the file, these free pages then can be deallocated and returned to the file system and thereby creating a space in the file system. So this um, this is basically discussing the process how space is released and created and uh, basically the pages is the basic unit of data storage in SQL Server and SQL Server writes, reads and writes in terms of pages and um, before we uh, show you how you can uh, shrink a file there are some points you need to remember uh, the primary data file size cannot be made smaller than the si size of the primary file in the model database so let me go to the SQL Server and show you what's the size of the model database so model database is a system database so we need to expand the system databases section on the left hand side so here we see a model database so basically what is the role of this model database uh, this database gets used as a template uh, when we create a new database in a or new user database in a system so while creating it as db uh, it used the template of model database so let me check the primary data file size of a model database so let me go to file section of this and this is the primary data file and its initial size is 8 MB alright so that is how you can see the size of the primary data file for the model database and uh, let me go back to notes so primary data file of any user defined database cannot be smaller than the size of the primary file in model database and again we are talking about the same thing uh, shrink operation whether it's performed on the database or a file it does not prevent the fragmentation status of the indexes in the defined in the database and it generally increases the index fragmentation uh, due to movement of pages so basically uh, shrinking operation is the operation that consists of movement of pages from the end of the file to the front of the file so due to this page movement index fragmentation gets created and uh, this index fragmentation can cause uh, queries to become slower uh, providing poor performance mm, queries that particularly uses the range of the index to find some information in a table and uh, this is one of the reasons one should not repeatedly perform the shrink compression on the database and one should rebuild uh, indexes on the file after the shrink operation and this is one of the best practices you can follow and uh, there are two ways you can shrink a file you can use the GM mode in SQL Server Management Studio or you can write a T-SQL query so let me show you demo of this uh, let's go to SQL Server and here we will be working on the test TB so uh, let me show you so in order to shrink a file so first of all you need to go to the properties of any particular database it will open up a property dialog box expand that box on the left hand side there is a file section so this database has two primary data files not two primary and this is a primary file group so test is a primary data file test db1 is the secondary data file test db underscore log is the log data file so basically um, here I was showing you the files which we can there are three files which we can shrink so let me show you how you can perform the shrink operation so you need to right click on the database and go to the task section under that there's a shrink section and you need to select the file option earlier we selected database option to shrink the database as a whole but now we are selecting files option this will open up a dialog box so let's expand that and I will go uh, through items in this dialog box one by one so first of all it displays the name of the database uh, on which you are performing the operation or uh, where the data files resides so 
so basically uh, the next option which it allows you to choose is data bias files and file groups so it is giving me to select the option of file type uh, where I can select data log file or the file stream data for now uh, I'm only aware about this and uh, data files and the log files so so let's try to shrink the data files now after that it can allow me to uh, select a file group uh, here we only have a primary file group but if there are any additional file groups defined or you have created them and if the files are on certain uh, file groups you can select the file or uh, select the file and the file group as well so before selecting file you need to select a file group so once you select the file group it shows you all the files that are present under that particular file group so under primary we have two files uh, as I had shown you a few minutes before so under primary we have two files one is the primary data file and another one is secondary data file so yeah here two files are listed so test underscore db is our primary data file and uh, test underscore db1 is our secondary data file all right and if we select the log as option it will show us the log file which we can shrink so for now uh, let's keep it ourselves to data files and I want to shrink the primary data file test underscore db and currently allocated space is 10 MB to this file and available free space is 71% or 7.13 MB within this file which can be released and it is uh, showing me location as well for the file this is the complete location on the drive and here it is giving me some options so we have gone through currently allocated space and the available free space Now below that it provides us with your shrink action. So first action is we can release the unused space and this causes any unused space in the files to be released to the operating system and shrink the file to the last allocated extent. So extent is another unit of data storage in SQL Server and extent consists of 8 pages. So basically it releases the space from the files to the operating system and shrink the file to the last allocated extent to the file. And basically if we select this option it reduces the file size without any data movement. So no data movement happens here. And no attempt is made to reallocate uh, rows to unallocated pages. So basically let me repeat so if we select this step release a new space no data movement happens in this step and no attempt is made to relocate the rows of data to the unallocated pages now let's move on to second option which is reorganize pages before releasing a new space so this in this steps there will be data movement as well right and it reorganize because it reorganizes the pages of data so uh, this option is equivalent to uses the dbcc shrink file option which i will show you in a while and uh, we can specify the target file size to which we want to shrink so for example i want to shrink it to 8 mb so here it is specifying me that I can minimum at at max I can decrease it to 3 MB size but uh, let me reduce it to 8 MB and see what happens so let me go ahead and first of all performs the release and new space operation on this to see if that makes any effect in the free available space section so let's go ahead and click on ok let's see what it has done so again right clicking on the file going to task and going to shrink going to files opening up the dialog box the same file is selected and it is still has 7.13 MB so I think uh, nothing can be uh, released from this file so there is no unused space which is redundant and can be released to the operating system and 
let me show you the second option where we can specify the file size but again let me see if it get reduced to 8 MB let's click on OK let's see again whether it's reduced to 8 MB maybe or maybe not so yeah now if we choose the second option it has uh, reduced the currently allocated space to 8 MB because we are he here we are specifying the target file size and also data movement has happened in this step where it moved the pages or reorganized the pages and we have shrank the file to 8 MB and now let's talk about the third option which is empty the file by migrating data to other files in the same file group so yeah this file group has two files so we want to if we want to empty this file and move all the data present inside this file to another files in the same file group another files in the same file group is test underscore db1 so let me see if it allows me to do that so let me select the third option So basically this option is used to migrate all the data from a specified file. Um, this option allows the file to be dropped because all the data is moved now file can easily be dropped using the alter database statement and uh, this option is used equivalent to using the dbcc shrink file with the empty file option which I will show you in a while and let's uh, let's try this and see if this data file gets emptied out now i've clicked on ok so this operation has failed because uh, i cannot do this for the primary data file so it is giving me error message cannot move all the contents of test db to other places to complete the empty file operation because this is a primary data file of the database so yeah let me try it with the secondary data file so yeah again currently allocated space is 8 MB to this file and see if I can empty this file out and move all the data to primary data file test underscore DB let's try that um, this should not fail I think so I've clicked on OK let me try to do that again I click it on ok it is doing some, something in the background let's wait for it to complete it's emptying out the file moving the data out to test TV. so guys earlier I got the error in that dialog box so let me right click and click it and show you again the shrink operation on files with the last option so yeah here I can reduce the remove the data out of test db1 using this third option empty file by migrating the data to the other files in the same file group so um, this can be done in the cases where I want to drop the secondary data file and I do not want to contain any of the data so I can migrate the data and then I can later on drop the file so let me click ok it will perform the operation so yeah now I have moved the data now this file the secondary data file can easily be removed because data is moved out to other files in the same file group so let me go to files let me let me remove this file because this is not required now because all data is migrated let's click on ok so this is done now let me show you the other way which is the query way to do things earlier we can we have talked about uh, how you can do this by the graphical mode uh, how you can shrink files with certain options okay now uh, let's open up a new query window and uh, we have already connected the database engine I've clicked on new query and here I will use the here I will not be using all the three options here I am show you, showing you how you can shrink a database file to shrink a file to any particular size so the command is dbcc shrink file and 
along with that within brackets you need to specify the name of the data file which which is test let me not use quotes and file name is test underscore db I guess yeah it's test underscore db and let me specify the file size now right now if I view the file where it ask shrink operation and go to files the file name is test underscore db and is currently set to 8 MB now let me try to set it to 6 MB to see if that works so this is the command dbcz shrink file and uh, specify the name of the file and the MB to which we want to set I uh, want to set uh, I wanted to set it to 6 MB so let's execute this query it is giving me that some incorrect syntax so maybe I've put in full stop instead of comma let me try to execute it now so yeah let's see whether it has reduced it um, let's go to test db right click task shrink files now I see that it is shrunk to 6 MB so yeah this is one of the ways you can shrink a file in a database and now let's go back to notes so guys we are done with this video here I have shown you how you can shrink a files within the databases using the GA mode in SQL Server Management Studio or I have also shown you how you can write a T equals query using dbcc shrink file command to uh, shrink the files and we are done with this video and I thank you so much for your time and please uh, hit the like button if you really like this video click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon to get all the future updates regarding my future videos and I thank you once again and you have a wonderful day ahead